Hey guys, this is another one I thought would be, this is kind of like a real common, I mean, a really common kind of ask, and this is something I think, because this lady here, uh, customer shipped it perfect as far as, you know, at least to give it the best chance of getting um, to its destination the best shape. So one of the things that's often asked is, uh, you know, hey, I got, a, got some birds and I wanted to ship it, but... You know, what do I need to do and what's the best kind of method, um, obviously, so they don't get all messed up. So what she did here, and what I normally, so especially if you're going to do something, um, don't be afraid to ship out of state or across the state. I mean, especially if, if the difference in quality, um, I know that kind of hangs some people up, like they want to do something local, which if there is somebody local, that's great, because if you don't have to ship and you don't have to ship the bird back, or, you know, a long drive to pick it up. You know, like I have a lot of people that drive in from, say, Houston or Austin or San Antonio. So, I mean, it's a little bit of a drive. But the good thing is if you ship down uh, frozen birds, it at least saves you the trip. So if you're going to ship frozen birds, this is kind of the, the I guess, the best template. Um, so newspaper, if you got it. So what she has here is just a cooler that fits uh, perfectly into the box. Newspaper down, so like, so for here, you would get a little bit of, you know, kind of newspaper bedding. We'll just use a ptarmigan. So you put, you know, just put them in. Obviously I'm one-handed, so I'm gonna just do the best I can, but, um, you know, some freezer packs. These, I don't even know what these are, to be honest, but, um, polar pack. I don't know, but I mean, you know, the ice pack in general. I mean, you could do dry ice too, but it's like, man, you got to notify them and you got to, normally that'll add additional shipping. And the main thing with this is if you ship this box with UPS or FedEx, don't do postal service. Don't do postal service. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> no matter what they say the date's going to be, UPS or FedEx, Monday or Tuesday morning. It has to be morning. I just had this happen with this exact box. Is It was shipped out in the afternoon on a Monday. They said it was going to be there the next day. But unless it's to that main hub at a certain time that afternoon, it's not going to be on the truck the next morning. Now, if you do it in the morning, say a Monday morning, UPS and FedEx ground, just regular ground, especially within, at least within Texas, and I'm sure it's similar in most states, it'll get there the next day. So you're basically getting overnight uh, shipping for ground cost. And so as long as the bird is frozen, ice packs in there. Um, I just took a couple out just for this. Ice packs get back on with, you know, I mean, just, just enough, obviously. So if the box is overturned, that it's the bird isn't going to, you know, jostle around too much. And these coolers here, so what she did was take the handle off which is another kind of good, um, a good option. But then just a regular cheap styrofoam cooler from the convenience store. And then a box, you know, that obviously it'll fit in, this little HEB. And then from here, if you want, I mean, you can put, you know, some newspaper, some padding along the sides, but, you know, at the same time, it's kind of gets to the point where, it'll be fine. So, so if you're shipping normally, and like I said, this is great because now you have tracking. Now you have, I mean, you kind of have everything as far as if you want to send your pose, uh, deposit, information, tag, just put it in a Ziploc bag along with the bird so it doesn't get wet. And then boom, you're good to go. Then everything shows up. Um, all the migratory stuff can be filled out and whatever deposits required. And this way you can ship. Now, again, if this is, and if we're talking about um, further away as far as a different state, you know, then you may have to pay a little bit more. But either way, regardless of the shipping method, um, is the cooler in the box, if it's going to be more than two days, then dry ice is probably a good way to start thinking about it. Maybe unless it's winter and there's, there's a cold, you know, cold front in the process kind of thing if you time it out. But... Let's just say summertime, hot as hell, like it always is here. You know, if it's frozen and there's ice packs in there, 
uh, shipped Monday morning, gets to me Tuesday, midday-ish, and then it'll still be frozen. So then the good thing is then I can just take it straight out, get the tag filled out real quick, put it with them, boom, back in the freezer, and then everything is cool. And I'm going to keep this just in case, uh, you know, I don't know, just in case I need to ship something, I guess. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of show, because I did the video about skinning, because one of the common things is people go on a trip, they shoot something, but they want to keep the meat, or they want to save some space, so they want to skin it. And then obviously, uh, you know, hopefully that, that has a decent amount of views, hopefully that helps. And then this, I know is a big one, because this is asked a lot. I mean, this was actually asked today. <laughs> Um, which is what kind of made me think of it. And it's just real simple. Um, you know, cooler, they're good size. You know, a box like this is probably going to cost, um, I know within, with, within Texas, probably under 20 bucks, around 20 bucks. And for overnight, you can't beat it. There's also like Lone Star overnight here in Texas. I know it's, it's hard to say because I'm sure not many Texas people watch these videos, but Main thing is just one of the big carriers, it'll say estimated delivery. And if you ship in the morning, it should be pretty accurate. And as far as shipping goes, uh, you know, because some people will say, like, for example, this, this exact one here, they were going to drive down and deliver the birds from Houston. And I said, well, why do that? Because, um, you know, you're just driving down to do what you could pay UPS $20 to do and just worry about a trip when it's time to pick them up. That's the important one. That way you don't have to worry about the mount getting damaged. Because a frozen bird is, you know, the only thing that's going to damage it is time and thawing out. So anyway, just newspaper, a couple ice packs. But the cooler in the box is the main, because, um, you know, I've seen every variation under the sun as far as uh, making a makeshift, whatever, and, or putting a bird just in a box with a little bit of padding and shipping it. And to be honest, too, if, if it's going to be the next day and it's kind of cool out and not the end of the world, it still gets there barely, you know, barely thought out. Um, but this is, they say, and oh, what I was going to say is so in the afternoon and it missed the cutoff. So the next day when it was supposed to arrive here, I got the email that said that it's not going to be here until the, the, the following day. So then obviously I let them know. I'm like, hey, you know, it's not going to be here until tomorrow. But even then they still arrived uh, just almost still frozen. And this was after two days. So it's a good method. And I've actually already mounted the birds and there was no issues. So anyway, I just wanted to make this. I thought this was kind of a cool, uh, or at least informative, um, informative deal on how to, how to ship and, uh, and just a good, easy way and hopefully uh, the main thing is not to be scared. If you you know find somebody that does quality stuff, um, obviously shipping, and people have their different methods, but, you know, what works, works, regardless of, you know, where you're at. So anyway, guys, appreciate it. And if you have any questions, let me know. And hopefully it helps. All right, bye, guys.